Good morning to all you aesthetic athletes. Today is May 26, 2017, and it's time to get aesthetic. If you're new to this channel and you like my content, please subscribe. Be the first one to see my latest content by hitting the notification bell. I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so we're currently one day out, May 26. Now, for breakfast, it's about 6.45 a.m. I did not sleep very well, so when we get to the hotel, I'll probably take a nap or something. Still gotta do my tanning, meeting, not too, too much to do today. And we're in the host hotel, so it's a good walking distance from everything. Anyways, for breakfast, I got here. 50 grams of oats. It's plain just with some water inside. I didn't put too much water. And here we got a cup and a half of coffee. So that's where a lot of my water intake is going to come from today. I'm going to have to have a little bit more water. I'm definitely feeling really drained right now. So I'm going to have that. And probably I'm going to dry myself out a little bit more tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. All right, getting everything packed here. Got my laptop ready to go to edit for you guys. I got also as well homework. Anyways, I got my little rolling thing there. You tend to get really tight during competitions, um, so you should be having potassium, sodium, uh, some water, not too too much, but you should have some water, um, and you should stretch and massage. That's one thing I always forget to do. Normally forget to do um, is to stretch and massage. So I know my hair is look. <laughs> I look so. Perfect. Anyways, I'm going to check my weight right now. I just took a shower, that's why. Uh, I already ate breakfast, so keep that in mind, guys. I'm going to be weighing a little bit heavier than what I should. Um, because I just had uh, my coffee, which is about a cup and a half. And I had oats, so I'm going to be weighing, I'd say, about 0.5 more than what I'm going to be. 0.5 or a pound more. So, I'm weighing in at 152.2. So, the carbs are taking an effect. The carbs are coming in. And that's a good thing. I'll probably be weighing, I'd say, 153 uh, come stage day. So, excited. Gonna feel fuller. Definitely more cut down. So, it's a good weight. You know, I was, I was thinking it was gonna be lighter. Still good weight. Still very good weight. So, yeah, as I said earlier, I got all my camera equipment. Got some clothes packed up. These guys... Never forget these pajamas. Those guys are the lucky pajamas. When I first competed, use those guys. It's not dirty. I clean them. <laughs> I got my camera gear, you know, laptops in there, ready to go. Got a little pump up thing here. There's better ones out there uh, that don't have, require straps. I forgot what they're called, but I got those ones. <laughs> and I'm going to use this guy for massaging. Got some homework underneath there for studying. Got some homework here, flashcards. And I think I'm going to be taking this guy. I think I'm going to be taking some calcium, magnesium, just so I make sure my calcium levels are regular. So I'll throw that in there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be taking any CLA. No, I don't think I'll be taking that. Did win these at a contest from Muscle Insider Canada, so that's pretty cool. Um, I need headphones, and I can't find my headphones, but I'm going to see where I can find them. Oh, I remember this guy, guys. Look at this. The four week mini cut. <laughs> not thinking about that right now. You know what I'm thinking about? Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm thinking about work harder, don't waste time, and stop procrastinating. And on May 27th, I'm gonna make some homemade burgers, cheeseburgers with Big Mac sauce, and get some Krispy Kreme donuts. So I got a couple things here, obviously my toothbrush, you know, the typical stuff. I always wanted to show you guys what's in here. Now I got this a long time ago when I was a kid, and I think everybody should have one of these. Now this is just a rock, but this rock means something to me. And I think everybody should have, you know, a good luck charm, right? Something, I'm just gonna zoom in, something they could bring to kind of just ease off their mind, not think about the surroundings, just think about that you have that luck, you have something or someone supporting you there's a lot of people supporting me and i don't deny that but this rock it stands for faith no matter what happens tomorrow i'm always gonna have faith and no matter what guys let's keep on this journey now back to the topic of a good luck charm i think everybody should have a good luck charm no matter what it is like just the fact of having one it gives you that sense of like Men like it gets you past that mental lapse. I don't know. For me, it's it's always been like 
of course, a good luck charm is a mental thing. A lot of that is. Um, and with bodybuilding, a lot of bodybuilding is mental. Is that it's it's a mental aspect. You can do all the training, you can do all the nutrition, and and a lot of bodybuilders, professional especially, they already have all that down. It's it's matter whether they have that willpower. So, you know, everybody should have a a good luck charm, whether it's for sporting events, um, whether they have to give a speech on stage, you know, something to make them feel more relaxed, uh, just knowing that they have that there. So this is just my type or sense of I, I know it probably sounds a little weird for some of you guys but this is my sense of like helps me relax helps me feel less stressed out when I'm on stage so definitely excited for this fifth competition now we got to get everything else here let it record one two then stop the reveal yeah okay guys so we are here ready to go with my mom we got everything all packed up for the road trip tons of stuff but at the end of the day come more prepared um, better to bring more than not enough because you do not want to come unprepared, especially when you've been pre preparing three months for this competition. So we're all ready, ready to go. It's going to be a three hour drive. Um, and then we got to go book, book the hotel. We already booked the hotel, but we just got to go and check in, uh, unpack, not everything. Um, certain things we're definitely going to be unpacking and it's going to be a good road trip. So I'll ch check in with you guys in a sec here. Probably do a little recordings on the way there, but other than that. I'll see you guys once we get there. You ready to go? <laughs> we got here, mom in her plastic bag <laughs> socks. <just> soaking up. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping warm. Got my water bottle, beats, wallet, and it says here about two hours and 43 minutes so far. Okay guys, so right now we're on the road, we're almost at Calgary, you can already see Calgary, some mountains. Um, so we're almost there, I had two rice cakes, had a good talk with my mom, talking about life in general. Uh, and now, you know, we're probably a good 20 minutes out. Um, but first things first, we're going to go to the hotel, we're going to get that all settled. After we get to the hotel, i got to change it to what I need to get tan for, obviously bringing everything into the hotel and whatnot. Um, but definitely super excited. Like, there could be a pro card here, there could not be. I wanted to make sure there's a pro card, so I did check in a couple months beforehand. And they did say there will be, there's most likely gonna be, because this is their bigger show. Uh, so I'm hoping there is, really, like, at the end of the day, I don't want to do the show if there's no pro card, and I'm being honest. But I put all this work in and all that, so I'm gonna still do the show, but I want to know that there's gonna be a pro card. And because of that, that's my, that's my end goal. I mean, I went first in my last comp, there's no pro card. Then I got second in the comp before that, so this comp, I hope it's the one, and I'm, you know, I'm definitely very excited. So I put a hundred, a hundred ten percent work into this. Like, this is not just like you know, be decent to get first place. This is be my best every single competition, no matter what it is. If it's better than before, perfect. And that's what I am. I'm bigger. I'm fuller. I'm doing, being smarter with the cards I'm taking in, and I'm way more cut down. And that's why I look bigger, but I actually weigh less. If that makes sense, I'm leaner and bigger. So keep that in mind. I'll check in with you guys when we're at the hotel. Turn right onto McLeod Trail Southeast, then you will arrive at your so destination. There's the hotel. Michal is finally here. here at the hotel. Now we gotta make sure we could get in, cause technically speaking, uh, check-in's not till like. I think 12 or 3. No, it's definitely 3 o'clock. So we're going to see if we get early check-in. would be nice. Um, we got to find parking first. Other than that, we're finally here, guys. Okay, so we're here finally at the Holiday Inn. I know it's crazy loud right now. There's lots of cars. We got to check in. Let me just make sure I got my keys. Okay, good. I didn't lock myself out. Uh, make sure we got that. Make sure we get everything checked in. I think my pants isn't undone. Okay, we're good. Let's go check in. You have anything to you have anything to say? <laughs> good uh, good ride. Well, that was a nice trip. Not too bad. The good weather. It's good. The weather. There's no rain. Nice place. Though. Oh yeah. Pretty quiet. <laughs> 
Okay, it's a long walk all the way here, but we're finally in the hotel. So we got one queen size. We got a pull out uh, sofa. Queen size is definitely big enough for the two of us. Uh, we got food in here. They have no trolleys, so I had to, I had to yeah. pretty much bring this all. Um, I got about everything here. Next thing we got to do is make some food. I made sure there's a microwave, fridge. Um, I already made all my food. I just have to warm it up. So we're gonna have some asparagus, sweet potatoes, and chicken for the first two meals. Uh, next two meals, well, with every meal, remember two rice cakes right after every meal. So keep that in mind. I'll be really full today. Uh, feeling a lot better, a lot jumpier. Even though I didn't get much sleep last night, I'm gonna get a lot of sleep tonight. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna go warm that up quickly. Okay, so our first meal here, asparagus, chicken, and sweet potatoes. I don't know how much asparagus that is, but it's a decent amount. Asparagus has no calories really, just help uh, take out the water from my skin pretty much. So I'm gonna go warm this up now. So this is extra? Yeah, so you will hold on to that me? and one for me, yeah. Oh, you're videotaping? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Superstore? Superstore. Yeah, one of the two. <laughs> okay, so we got here bananas, apple juice, Reese's Pieces cups, two bigger ones, and one of the smaller version. Uh, we got here slippers. Don't really need them too much. It's only six bucks, but it would help when I'm tanning. This is for my mom. This one's mine. We're gonna use some Powerade with some vitamin B and some electrolytes. Obviously, it's gonna spike my insulin levels. Same with that apple juice. Apple juice I'll be sipping on before this. This will be during pump up. Apple juice is just before pump up. This is also, as they say, okay, it's time to pump up. I'm gonna eat about, I'd say, one bar. Even though I bought so many, maybe for a little bit later. But yeah, that's uh, that's what we'll be having. Definitely gonna be getting some more bananas since it has lots of potassium. But my sweet potatoes do have already lots of potassium, so I don't necessarily need extra bananas. So maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Okay guys, you can see I'm wearing my little flip-floppy thingies. I don't even consider them really flip-flops. They're like little 
I don't know, there's a name for these things, but this is what we're wearing. We got our lucky pants, we got our MLAC shirt, we got a sweater, baggy. Uh, the MLAC, you know, it would be better if this was a little looser just so it doesn't get too tight on my neck. Other than that, whew, ready to go. Gotta get that first coat. It's good lighting here. I really like this lighting. I should have done a little video here, but. Eh. Let's do this, guys. First coat. Let's do it. Okay, so what these guys are gonna be doing, so they're gonna be tanning pretty much everything. I'm gonna be wearing my boxers. Those boxers are gonna be really low, obviously. And they're gonna be spray tanning everything. Now, two coats is gonna happen. The first coat is gonna be the thickest coat. Um, after that, you're gonna be using a fan, and that's gonna dry up everything so you don't sweat all that tan off. Uh, secondly, then they're going to be putting on the second coat, and thirdly, just before they go on stage, you put some dream tan on. That dream tan is going to be like padded, you guys will see later. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys my first coat right now. Okay guys, I think I'm recording. Here, yeah, I'm going to stop that and restart that just in case. Okay, so, we are going to King's Fitness right now. We were supposed to do our tan, but forgot that registration is till 3 only. And it's about 2.30 right now, so we're going to go do registration. Get our shorts, get our number, well I have my shorts, get my number. Register everything, then go to the tent. Here at King's Fitness, you guys kind of see there in the corner, get registration done. Okay, so we're done the registration now. We got here like a shirt. My number is number 83. So, you know, higher number, meaning I'm going to the top, guys. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go get our tan. Aiming for the first. Aiming for the first, exactly. So we're gonna go get our tan. Um, I got the IMBF stuff registered. That's about it for that. Oh, not bad of a walk, eh? Huh? Not bad of a walk. <laughs> <laughs> More exercise. More exercise. <laughs> okay guys, we got our first coat here. Not too bad. I'll show you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys inside the room exactly what I'm looking like, but first coat is done. It took a while because there's a big lineup for us. But other than that, you know, the jawline's sticking out, teeth looking really white as usual. And now we're gonna go check in and see the physique that I'm showing you guys right now. You got the key? Yes. Okay, good. We gotta go check the physique. It looks nice with the, time, the color. It's not too dark. Not too dark, okay? No. That's but they're gonna like tan me more. But they're Did gonna... you do the face too? Yeah. Well, yeah, you could see. <laughs> do I? <laughs> of course, they did the face. <laughs> but I got to uh, do a second coat. They should do that like that, more light. So yeah, they're too dark. That's true. They're gonna they're gonna do a second coat though, but it's not gonna be as crazy as this one. This one was the thick coat that they do. Oh, so the, the main... other one more darker. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit darker. Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the chest. This is what I'm currently looking like. Like, and you guys just saw. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, this is like the biggest and best I've ever been. I've carved up, not fully. I'm still gonna carve up more. Um, as you can see, my face, it's really tan. It's really sharp, my jaw. Um, I did not record the tan itself. I might record the second coat. I'm gonna ask if I could, but I don't wanna get too, you know, personal with these people because there is other people getting tans there and I don't wanna, you know, get them in my recording because I don't think they wanna be recorded. That being said, this is what I'm looking like. This is the first coat, so it's looking awesome. Like, damn, like, that's crazy, guys. Honestly, this, this, like, my chest got bigger. You definitely, you definitely see my chest feels fuller, my shoulders feel fuller, my abs. Um, right now, I am super cold, so and I did not eat, so my muscles aren't as big as they will be on stage. Um, <laughs> sorry about like saying um lawn or whatever, but it's because when you're cold, mus like uh, your your blood is not flowing. There, that makes more sense. Your blood's not flowing. Um, I still have to drink a little bit more water. I'm gonna eat right now, 
then we have the meeting at 6.30, so gotta get all that prepared. Um, as far as the 10, we are looking good. The physique's looking good. Um, I'm gonna check my weight tomorrow morning, see how that's uh, working out. I didn't check my weight this morning, but like my chest looks crazy. I'm not even, like I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but like, you know, I'm just really happy with the results with what, like <laughs> what I, what I achieved, right? And I know I haven't achieved anything yet, but um, this is gonna be a fun one, guys. Uh, I like this lighting, it's nice lighting, but it's gonna be definitely one for the books. There better be enough competitors, because I'm coming. Okay, guys, so we're cooking our second meal here. Not really cooking it, just warming it up. It has chicken breast, asparagus, and it has some sweet potato fries. So we got here the meal with the chicken, asparagus, and some sweet potatoes. And we are watching Pitch Perfect 2. And that, guys, is how you get aesthetic. Anyways, guys, so right now we're going to be headed to the meeting. You got the wallet? Yeah. We're going to be headed to the meeting right now. It's good lighting. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to be headed to the meeting. Um, it's going to be from, I think, 6.30, maybe about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. It's going to be talking about... Uh, um, Pretty much what we're doing on stage for all the athletes, for the women's, men's, um, bikini, bodybuilding, all that stuff, figure. So I'm going to have to go through that. After that, we're going straight to the tanning place. So that's why I have my food ready to go um, in case I will come back and warm it up. But other than that, we should be fine. So right now, we're going to head over to the meeting. What are you playing there? You ready? What are you doing? <laughs> huh? Pictures. Taking pictures? <laughs> so we're done the meeting. How was the meeting? How did it go? It's fun. It's fun meeting? So pretty much what they talked about was... I got my second coat by the way. I already did that right after. Um, they talked about all the posing, everything going on. And as well the classes. So there's going to be, what, five? Five pro cards, right? Uh, and then they still have to do the testing for urine test. You do? Yeah. Too? If you yeah, win but... a pro card, you have to do a urine test. Oh. So it's going to be, you know, interesting. But they did say men's physique does have well, a pro have card. Well, sure you don't take any Yeah, but, you know? but when they said men's physique has a pro card, I was like, yes. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but... <laughs> Oh yeah, I think that's one of the yeah. Um, at the end of the day, you know, I could get the pro card, I couldn't, right? Like if someone comes with a better package, I might lose, right? You never know. But all I know is I did well in other like cool. stages, um, other like competitions with them, oh, and fun. and it would only make sense for me to do well in this one if I bring the same package, if not better, right? So yeah. we'll have to see. And I think I brought a better package, so I should <laughs> honestly, if there's someone that brought better packages be than me. Yeah, I'm confident, but if someone brought a better package than me, then, you know, if he deserves it, he deserves it. Yeah. So, then they, there is a pro card, so there's a chance. Yeah. That's all that matters, there's a chance. Yeah. So guys, this is my second coat. Damn. Now this is looking insane. This is too, I'm a little bloated right now, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm eating, I'm still eating a lot, but my muscles are filling out. That's the main thing. Yeah, so you can see my abs look a little faded, because feels slightly bloated but other than that like I don't know how more else better I can get than what I am right now Oof. but yeah this is the second coat so I'll show you guys a little bit of a physique update here still a little cold but look I'm looking bigger like I don't know if you guys um, can compare the other two I might just do it in a video for you guys but I feel bigger and I look, I feel like I'm looking bigger. So hopefully that comes to play um, definitely on stage. I think it definitely will. Uh, let's see here. It's a good lighting here too. Boom. Other than that, you know, my hair looks not the best. Like, I want to get rid of that. But so far, happy. Um, my face isn't as tan. They did not do a second coat on my face, but they did do my neck. And they did second coat on everything else, so. Like you can see here, let me zoom in on that. You can see here, it kind of like, oh. <laughs> okay, now, meal number three, after doing all the coat and everything. You got here, all the coats, I guess. Um, 
You guys can kind of see. Well, look at Asparagus? That. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, it looks weird. <laughs> it's like a punch. I know. A <laughs> hole in my stomach. <laughs> Two holes. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, we got here a sweet potatoes with um, some asparagus, and then we'll have another one of those before we go to bed, and some more sweet potatoes just before we go to bed as well, with two rice cakes right after this. Well, actually, maybe just one rice cake, maybe two, we'll to see. But one rice cake after this, another one of these with two rice cakes after, and then another one with just sweet potatoes. Um, and that should be it for today when it comes to sweet potatoes and food. Um, then tomorrow, I'll be showing you guys that on show day. That's gonna be it for tonight. Um, I might be showing you guys a little bit more, but you guys can see my face. Not so tan, it's really white. Making that jawline really sharp. Chest standing out, physique is looking good. Gotta finish that meal. Still not even gotta eat it yet. I gotta do a little recordings for you guys. So, um, gotta eat that, dress up warm. I'll keep that Keep that in mind. I'm gonna talk to you guys about that, about keeping warm for a prep in a sec here. Anyways guys, I made that bed for my mom because she doesn't want us to lay here with me. But that's okay. I got this bed and my mom still has a bed there for her. So we got all this food and dishes we probably have to clean up later. Other than that, watching some... What is that called again? Anchorman 2. Um, and I just finished my meal. So that's about it for today. Um, it's one day out now. That's crazy. One here. Let's put this a little bit better. One day out now. I've been through this so many times. This is my fifth competition. Um, it's it's definitely gonna be. Uh, it's definitely been a lot more fun. Definitely for prepping for this comp is a lot more fun. I was able to do other things despite just thinking about the competition, and I'm still doing things now. Like I just did some studying. So, other than that, um, I'm definitely really excited. The meeting went well. There's a lot of competitors. There. I'd say over a hundred, maybe just a hundred competitors. Um, but the fact that they said there's a WMBF Pro card for men's physique, that got me pumped up. Now, if someone was, I did say this earlier. If someone was to come better than me, they and they deserved it. So be it. But if if politics come to play, I'm not about that. Now, these guys, the IMBF, is very respectful. Now, the reason why I say that, I don't just say that because I want to get further and whatnot. If you compare them to other organizations, now I'm not going to say the organizations just because. Um, the IMBF gives you that time on stage. Now, in a way, it's too much time because <laughs> it's tough posing, but it's more than what's deserved of us. We put all this hard work into this prep, all this hard work into our bodies, and we deserve to be on that stage to show to our friends and family and all the audience um, what we have accomplished. Now, they put you on stage. One time I've been on there for a good 40 minutes, and I was like, oh, that was so hard. But it was so, like, I was happy I was able to show everything. Like, like there's never going to be a time where I get rushed off stage or a time where, you know, I only have a limit. I can do this, a limit to that. You know, it's it's respectful. It's inspiring. Everyone's there for a good motive. It's all natural. Everyone's natural there. Um, and overall, it's a great atmosphere. And that is why I respect the IMBF so much. And that's why I compete with them, right? Um, I'm not saying other organizations are, are bad. I never really went down with many other organizations. But from what I experienced, IMBF is very respectful to their athletes. Um, it's not a bigger show. It's not like like uh, other competitions that I can go to, but it's gonna lead to bigger ones if I was to achieve that pro card. Now I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That's about it. I mean, I don't have much else to say. I gotta get some sleep. Um, it's about nine o'clock. Maybe do a little bit more studying before I go to bed. Watch some Anchorman too. Whatever else it may be. Um, I did a little bit of stretching, a little bit of mobility. That's the one thing a lot of people lack after or just before going on stage is being mobile now you could you could uh that's a little bit better my hair looks funny i know um 
you could be as cut down as you want, as big as you want, but if you're not mobile on stage, you're going to cramp up, you're going to feel uncomfortable. You want to feel good when you're on stage, and that's why you're carving out. That's why you're doing all this stuff. You want to feel good on stage. Like, you're going to be cutting water a little bit, but you got to feel comfortable on stage, confident um, that you got your best package, that you put everything into it, and you do not want to feel tight or cramped up or whatever else it may be. So come prepared. Um, every day matters. Every hour matters. Um, get your tan. Get your good attitude. Get your posing trunks, whatever else you guys are wearing. I'm wearing shorts for men's physique. Get everything you need. I'm number 83. And I hope you guys enjoyed this journey with me because it was definitely a lot of fun making it and going through it with you guys. So, you know, when one journey ends, another will begin. And this... This is it for show for show day for one day out tomorrow will be show day i hope you guys enjoyed this one please leave a like below come subscribe and get aesthetics